Hi, welcome to The Shed. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to practice triads on the guitar. So I have a few methods here that will help you with your triads, whether you're gonna use them for comping or you're gonna use them for soloing. All right, so the first one I use is I like to play through the cycle of fourths on the same string set with the same inversion. So I'm gonna start on C with a root position triad on string set one, two, three. So here's C. I'm thinking about the root of the chord as my target note. I know the shape, and I'm thinking about where the root is on the third string. So this is C, then I have F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, and G. And then I go back to C. All right, I would do that throughout each inversion with just that chord quality. So like here's first inversion. C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. Here's second inversion. C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. After I'm finished with that, then I'm gonna change the quality. So I don't wanna change the quality using the same inversion right after each other because you're gonna memorize some patterns. And I don't want you to do that. I want you to know the shape and I want you to know where those notes are on the fretboard. So now I'm gonna do a minor triad in root position. C minor, F minor, B flat minor, E flat minor. So you do that through the same, that same cycle that I did before on the, the same string set with the same inversion. And then you do diminished and then you do augmented. The second thing you can do is you can spell out a triad with a, with a certain quality throughout its inversions. So let's start with um, C in root position. Then I do C in first inversion. Then C in second inversion. Now, the next one in the circle of fourths is F, but I want you to play the lowest F you can play possible on your instrument with that string set. So I'm going to play F in first inversion. Then F in second. Now I'm thinking about what inversion I'm on. I'm also thinking about what note is on top, whether it's the root, the third, or the fifth. And then I'm picturing where the root is on the instrument. So I have the root on top here, I have the root in the middle here, and then I have the root on the bottom there. So do that through all of the triads in every quality. So like you could do it for your A diminished triad. You want to make sure you do these completely and slowly, slowly so you can understand this. This takes a long time to master. All right, so here's another one. Um, you are going to take, now this is if you know all your string sets, you're going to play through the circle of fourths in one position. So let's say I'm going to start in C here, F, B flat. I'm changing my inversions so that I'm close. This is A flat. A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, G, and back to C. You can also just do it ascending. So C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, but soon you're going to run out of room. Or you can do it descending. You can do the same thing traversing the string sets. So I can do, um, let's start on you know, G, G, and then we have D, and then we have Wait, I'm talking about G, and then C, and then F, and then B flat, and E flat, and then we have A flat, and you can just go all the way up this way. The last one is to take triads through the diatonic order of a key. Now we can do it for major, harmonic minor, or melodic minor. I'm going to do it for major right now. So the one chord's major, two is minor, three is minor, four is major, five is major, six is minor, and seven is diminished. So take that order and run through it in an inversion. So C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, C major. Now do that in all 12 keys. Do that on all the, on all the string sets. Then you can start to do it through the different uh, tonalities. So let's do it in melodic minor. One is minor. Two is, what is it? It's minor. Three is augmented. Four is major. Five is major. Six is diminished. Seven is diminished. And then one is minor. Now you can play these harmonically like this. Or you can play them melodically. 